Hello, everybody. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Your microphone, Jeff? Uh, I'm going to just speak. Okay. My name is Jeff Shook. I'm a local musician here. I'm a drummer, a percussionist. And my interest in percussion in general stems from everything around us makes a sound. You can slap on the concrete right next to you and you hear a sound. Uh, you put enough of those sounds together in patterns and you create rhythms. And rhythms can be made into songs and ceremonial uh, uses. What we have here today are a bunch of stones that uh, represent musical notes. Um, if you're familiar with notes like D, 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 that's what a note is. And you put notes together and you can make a, a song or a, a ceremonial sound. Uh, the, there's been recent studies that show that some of these stones have actually been modified. They've been chiseled and sanded and ground and shaped into a, a stone that produces a really nice sound. And at the uh, Great Sand Dunes National Park, they have a collection of a, a bunch of these stones. And there's other places in the world that they have collections of these stones that were intentionally shaped to make really nice sounds. Now, what I have here is arrangements of stones uh, in uh, scales. But I doubt that the ancient people did that. I'm not picturing bunch of people around the campfire rocking out on their stone collection. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, but what they did use them for, um, in certain findings, they found them uh, within collections of ceremonial uh, artifacts, various things that they would use in various ceremonies. And uh, many times they're referred to as Kiva bells. And I would imagine, much like this one, where it could be notched at the top and then a piece of string or animal hide to suspend it, and, and it would be used to set off a ring. Understanding that this is way, way, way back, uh, concepts of music were not really developed yet. They, they worked into that, worked up to it, and people all over the world figured out how to produce music. Um, so when, when the simplest, simplest of sounds had a really nice tone that was pleasing to the person, those were ones that were selected out and used in various ceremonies. Um, so what I have here today, there's two different collections. This one is done out of a material much like a slate, where it can actually be fractured and uh, made into particular notes. And it has a very nice resonance. It makes a really good ring. Um, uh, so I'll just demonstrate. actually be tuned this particular set by taking off a little more of the rock and chiseling and fracturing and, and changing the shape you can actually make them into very specific notes and then with a, a larger arrangement it could be like a xylophone or a marimba where you have the full range of notes and you can play just about any song on them. Uh, the stones that I have here are all naturally occurring stones and I, I live over in Villa Grove on the, in the San Luis Valley over there. And whenever you dig a hole over there of any kind, you're going to turn up stones like these. And um, the, over the years, when I've dug a hole for a tree or a fence post or a ditch for a water line, I've, I've turned up millions of rocks. And you, you toss them aside. And every once in a while, a couple of them will hit together. And you can tell those are different. Those make a sound that 
should be used as a drummer, as a percussionist. I, I just hear these things. So I would save my little piles of stones. And about 30 years of collecting them, I finally read a story on what these are and what they're called. And they're, they're referred to as lithophones, which is a, a musical stone. Um, the article talked about a collection in the Sand Dunes Park. We gotta get the kids on the drum in okay. a minute. And um, they, they thought they had collected grinding tools and work tools, but in later study they found that they were actually shaped to produce musical sounds. Um, but my, my collection here, these are all naturally occurring shapes, and they are um, just as is. I haven't changed their tone at all. So what I've done, I'm taking the very, very ancient here. This may have even been pre-developing musical instruments. This was just, you throw a stone, you hear it, and do something about it. Uh, I'm now applying modern stuff with patterns and, and node arrangements, like the low is here, down to the high up here. And uh, everything in between can be done in a musical, used in a musical way. Come up and try this yourselves, whatever.